Today was a big day. We finally got a chance to see some raw Halo Reach MCC PC gameplay played on stream for you guys to the 343 social stream. So I'm going to give you guys all the highlights you're going to want to see when it comes to all the information in, like the title update systems they're going to be going with, MCC seasons that they're going for as well, ranks, progression, Unreal Engine also mix in with a little bit of this as well, and also just NDA rules and everything else involving the MCC coming to PC and Halo Reach just in general. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news video to hear today. If you guys like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are of Halo Reach coming to PC and the recent stream that happened which you got a chance to see some actual gameplay which is freaking awesome and if you want new to the channel or want to stay up to date with anything halo related that's mcc on pc mcc halo 5 halo infinite everything between like e3 coming around the corner here guys so you want to make sure you stay subscribed to the channel with hit while hitting the bell keeps you notified we do anything awesome on the channel so let's get right into the video here so yes we finally got a chance to see halo reach on pc and not only just in pc but on glorious 1080p 60 fps no motion blur and it just looked great. It looked like Reach, but kind of like modern day style, which is fantastic. It's exactly what I want to see. They played the campaign for Tip of the Spear, which is probably one of the more uh, encompassing uh, gameplay uh, levels for Halo Reach. You start a lot of vehicle play, gunfighting, uh, big scale, smaller scale gunfights. Like it's just all over the board on that one so it's definitely a good level to play on and they actually will be do bringing this over to e3 now here here's a clip of sketch mentioning how that even though they were preparing for e3 that this didn't slow down production if anything this kind of helped increase and give some strict goals of what they can accomplish for the time being when it comes to putting the mcc on pc the decision to go to e3 and to bring a small piece of this content in no way impacted flighting it didn't delay flighting it's not a marketing stunt i mean these it's very important, right, that nothing that happens for E3 it can't be throwaway work. It right. can't jeopardize or negatively impact the development roadmap as it stands today or cause delays in flighting, right? So by working through the challenges to get something ready for E3, we've actually been able to solve and work through a lot of the blockers that you guys have been dealing with for the last two or three months. And yeah, I totally would agree with them um, saying that once you kind of get like a hard deadline, you're like, hey, we got to get something for this. What can we do? You kind of gives you more focus on the key aspects of what you need to get down because it's an overwhelming thing trying to bring reach and just MCC in general to PC. As we have seen, it's taken quite a few months just to get to this point because there's a lot of things to be taken into consideration and there was a lot of information that's become around recently so uh, this video i'm gonna focus just on the live stream but there was also a waypoint post of like six thousand words images everything else breaking down even in greater detail that warrant multiple videos so make sure to stay tuned to the channel on that one and so yeah the saying like give, give yourself a goal to kind of get into uh, what you really need to make sure you have down when it comes to bringing the mcc to pc helps kind of produce a little more production value out of the team right there and so what's one thing I wanted to show, I got really giddy on when I saw this, is I actually showed just like the UI of Steam and you can open up Halo Reach from Steam, which I thought, even though it's like nothing really, I just thought it was so cool to be like, it's happening. Now some of the questions they addressed in the stream, one of them was the settings that we're going to be playing on, as in the original release of Reach was rather a mixed bag of, you know, the bloom was pretty severe, the weapons were not exactly balanced how they are nowadays kind of thing. And then later on, the updates to the game kind of helped make it play a lot better. People even said the MLG version of Reach the v7 version was probably one that some of the best competitive halo settings you'll ever play which i thought was rather interesting to hear from a game which supposedly killed mlg on for halo and so they they're, what they're going to do now is actually kind of give you a little bit of both some title update some non-title update playlist uh it looks like all match made games are going to be putting into the title update, which means reduced bloom and some weapon tweaks as well. What settings will we look forward to using in matchmaking? The TU settings are the ones to use for matchmaking. Here you confirm that we will use the TU settings yep. for, for all of MCC social matchmaking. 
um, and our ranked matchmaking as well. But then we're looking at probably not using those, for example, in some of the other modes of play. Correct? Right. right. Okay. Cool. I think flighting will certainly be a great way for us to get more feedback and validate some of these decisions that we've made. And then, of course, over time, uh, I would expect, just like MCC today, uh, MCC on PC will also continue to grow and evolve based on fan feedback as well. Though reading Postum's post about this, he also mentioned how uh, everything pretty much on multiplayer-wise is going to have the title update settings, except for Invasion, it's going to have the original settings, which I guess does make a little bit more sense as it's a larger scale, scale game and having reduced bloom means you fire off a lot more shots, make it harder to move across these open fields that you'll have to get across when playing larger scale games. So totally makes sense. And from watching the gameplay, it does look like uh, the original settings are going to be in the uh, campaign and firefight as well. Continue on, they mentioned something about seasons coming to the Master Chief collection. Come back to a system that effectively was, was you know, encompassed a larger scope of the game like Reach did when it had its progression system. And then taking some of that and bringing in more modern kind of metagame elements, right? So thinking in terms of, you know, a lot of things that we've seen more recently in terms of seasons, right? Or the ability, for example, to have unlocks that can come in um, tiered with a way for you to spend, you know, a seasonal currency effectively to to get those unlocks. And it's really taking those reach armors and wrapping it up in this all-encompassing progression system. Take a step back because I'm seeing a lot of uh, a lot of reactions in Mixer chat. Season pass. Oh no. Um, to be clear, this is not something that you're buying into, right? It's That's just right. it's just part of the game. And by season, we're kind of ref we use that to refer to the time, kind of between the individual game launches. So remember, each of the games in MCC is gonna roll out on PC over time, kind of when they're ready. So when Reach launches, that's effectively season one, and I don't believe season two would then start once Halo CE comes out, more or less, right? Yeah. Now this is strictly non-paying seasons, just basically a way to give keep people incentive to grind out the game, to keep playing, keep player, player retention there, and give you guys goals to keep playing more and more. So what sounds like, it's going to be a mix of like armor, customization, emblems, and different things like that, nameplates, and uh, it's not going to be necessarily a re original Reach style customization of earning credits and then unlock what you want. It seems like it's going to be kind of going through this seasonal pass kind of thing where you have to grind your way through XP levels and the XP that you earn gets you a certain amount of things like different armor sets or different nameplates. Uh, emblems, things of that sort. Now with other games with season passes, when that season goes on to the next season, that the previous content you can't get anymore. And that was actually a question that was addressed right here. Well, seasonal, yeah, legendary. I did see a you question see that, that says, right? will seasonal armor slash unlocks be, I think it said, will they be locked or will they be available anytime? There's no restriction, right? You don't miss out on content, right? You don't, you don't miss out on it. A new season will come out a previous season's content will still be available. So you can so. always still go back and earn the reach stuff yeah, that's months right. after it's come out. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, just to clarify, if a, once some content's put into the seasonal pass, it stays in that season pass, so it just keeps growing and growing. So season one will be the time between reach and CE's release on PC and MCC just in general. And so then once that one comes around for the season two, season one content will still be available for you to grind. So you won't be missing out on anything if you don't constantly grind out the game both will also write a bunch of questions talking about like will my ranks carry over from the xbox 360 version and the team on stream goes ahead to answer this way people are asking will their existing reach status rank unlocks will any of that carry over to reach once it arrives on in mcc just like with the other titles there's really no connection effectively between kind of the legacy titles effectively and, and the you know master chief collection uh, progression systems they're just built for kind of different audiences and, and different platforms there, so um, yeah. So yeah, what it sounds like your ranks are pretty much gonna be completely reset as it's a completely different system than what it was on the 360, sadly enough, but that's kind of how it's been with all the MCC games that uh, your previous rank or level up you were at in your previous game doesn't carry over, which I'm all for that. It kind of gives me a new excitement to kind of grind out the game again. So then it also gives you more reason to play into that season pass as well. Though even though our ranks and progression will not carry over from the 360, 
great thing to hear about this is that your Xbox progression will carry over to PC and vice versa. PC progression will carry over the console as it's tied to your Microsoft account. So cross progression is something that will be in from, from the beginning, yep. right? So if you already have content and MCC unlocked on console, that content will be there or your progression, what, what have you, would all carry over to PC and vice versa. Which is a big, big relief for me as I like to play on both console and PC. I'm well, I try to focus mainly on play on PC when it comes to these releases, though I would like to play on console with you guys as well when it comes to like live streams and things like that or just friends in general and so that uh, i'm really glad to see that progression will be carrying over which i'm really excited to see that because i'd hate to grind out the game not only once but twice now in the stream they were talking about how there are nine engines you need to take in consideration when bringing the mcc to pc but not only has it been nine but it's been bumped up to 11 now now you're probably like well yeah i added in halo reach as a whole nother engine that's 10 but they mentioned 11. What's the 11th one? Well, they said that they actually added in a bit of the Unreal Engine when it comes to this MCC update. But they didn't add it to the game performance or anything like that. It's strictly just to render out 3D models of your armor set. Overhauling the entire UI, there's a lot of systems in MCC that just haven't aged very well and or I don't think are scalable to meet the needs of what you guys want to deliver with a modern PC experience. So to that end, the 11th engine being added to MCC is this layer of the Unreal Engine that is specifically being used as a wrapper to build out a new holistic UI across the game. And it's specifically to address the issues that people brought up around armor customization, a solution for a 3D armor. And just to be super clear, that is not to, that's nothing to do with the games themselves. It's, it's just to power a component of the UI and things like the progression system and being able to view your armor unlocks and your models. Now, lastly, for me and other content creators, I'm sure we're all very curious about how are we going to be able to make videos on this? Are we going to be able to stream this when it comes to the flighting program? Are you going to be able to make videos on this? What are the restrictions? Because when MCC's uh, flighting program very first started out at a small scale, uh, it was under NDA. You couldn't stream it. You couldn't make videos on it. The sketch continues on saying this. I don't want to make a blanket statement to say insider flooding will or won't be streamable or under NDA. I think according to the terms of flighting, each flight might have its own separate rules. Um, there will become a point where we don't really have anything to hide and there's not really a way to enforce an NDA at a large scale. So for the most part, I would expect we're going to be pretty loose about that, but it would really kind of vary by flight. And when the flight mails do start to go out to recipients, uh, it will very clearly explain what the rules of engagement are. So it's kind of on, it's on you, the insider, to make sure you understand the rules and that you abide by them. So we'll just kind of have to wait and see. I think it's going to vary. Understandable since it's still very much a work in progress, as it literally says that on the screen when we're watching this video here. But uh, it's also going to be more kind of dependent on uh, what the state of the game is at the moment uh, when it comes to flighting and what they want to test out. So they can't give it a concrete detail at the moment, but he said that, you know, we're probably going to be pretty lax about it. I mean, they're literally showing the game right now. And so I wouldn't imagine even like NDA is really being a thing. And trust me, if I do get that email, I will certainly let you guys know. So because I'm sure we're all going to be looking, going on Twitch, going like, okay, when can we watch this? So guys, that's Reach on PC right there. Now, there is still so much more information to go into. I didn't want to drag this video out to be like a 40 minute long thing. I kind of want to break it up to more bite-sized pieces for you guys to ingest all at once. And so uh, this one's just gonna be strictly about the live stream. Next one's gonna be about the blog post that came. Uh, we're gonna be releasing like daily videos for this guys because the hype is real. There's so much information to go into and we're gonna try to dissect it all for you guys, give you all the TLDR that you'll need to know when it comes to the MCC coming to PC. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below where your thoughts are MCC and this uh, live stream that we just came through here or just the video in general. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. And if you're new to the channel, we'll stay up to date with anything involving Halo's Reach, uh, MCC, Halo on PC, Halo Infinite, Halo 5, everything in between make sure to tap subscribe with the bell keeps you up to date with anything going on, on the channel right now if you miss any content from me or new to the channel make sure to check out the videos on the screen right now i'll catch you on the next video peace out